What's up, Bulls? It's your girl, Monique. It's kind of loud, ain't it? It's going to be the bi-weekly tower reading for the uh, Taurus Zodiac, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Saturn. Anytime you see the placement that I'm doing for this, for whichever video, look to see if it's in your birth chart. It might resonate in some way, all right? Thank you to everybody that's been booking personal tarot readings with me, leaving comments, subscribing to the channel. Do that if you could, please. Like, leave a comment. Follow me on Instagram at Unika the Mystic with two Y's. DM me on there if you would like a personal tarot reading. Everything is in the description box in the comment section as a pinned comment, as well as my homegirl's information for skin serums, okay, and hair care products. Um, I'm really a fan like truly i'm really a fan yo like it's um it's not oily i have a problem with products being really oily on my skin her stuff is not um hit a rep right all right taurus october 2nd until october 16th um i was just thinking about it money is on the way i have my money candle lit lit i feel like that saxophone kind of loud girl okay taurus you might be planning a uh, trip I think uh, Libra was planning a trip too. You and Libra always go hand in hand. Taurus, I think you plan an upcoming trip. Somebody trying to go to Mexico. Okay. You know that's where everybody going, right? Or to their, uh, I think some people going to Cancun or, or uh, Cabo too. But you might be planning a trip. Like a trip trip. Okay. We, we, we ain't going to Myrtle Beach. All right. You know, somebody looking at going to Puerto Rico. Somebody's looking at going to the Cayman Islands. Um, I don't know if you're looking at, you might be looking at going by the end of this year or like you making a, you making plans for next year. Um, but yeah, you planning, you planning, um, you planning a trip. If it's not one of those, somebody's planning a, uh, uh, a upcoming trip. Could be going to the beach. <laughs> ain't going to go, ain't nothing going to the beach. Ain't nothing wrong with going to the beach. Yeah, I said Myrtle Beach. If you know, you know. Um, but <laughs> yeah. I think somebody may uh, plan a trip. Somebody probably trying to go to the beach. Somebody's wanting to go to the mountains. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, Taurus. <laughs> we got a little bit of money in our pockets. That's what the bulls are saying. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, we just got paid. It's Friday night. Party bouncing. Uh, 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 uh. All right. So, let's see. We're going to see what card is on the bottom of the deck for your overall feelings. And we're going to get into this reading. Y'all got some good stuff coming towards you. <sighs> and someone's watching you. Is it someone or people? This might be people. Um, I'm picking up on... That was dramatic just now. I know I didn't want it. I wanted to actually, like, get out my ears way, though. That's why I... Okay. There's a lot of people watching you. A lot of people watching what you're doing. Okay, you need to keep some things to yourself. So if you're planning on traveling or you're planning on putting some money back for, some, for something like this, don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody into... Don't tell nobody unless, you know, they need to know because they need to come over to your crib to watch some shit, okay? Some people, some people are just watching you just because they're interested in what you got going on. They, you know, they like to see you, you know, get it done, okay? Some people, the exact opposite, okay? Nosy motherfuckers who's waiting to see you trip, okay? They're like, yo, this motherfucker won't, like, stop shining, mm-mm. I don't know why you ain't got you no shades, okay? Get you some shades. All right? But there's somebody watching you. Um, yeah. There's a stalking energy around you, Taurus. Because that Mercury, Mercury is in Scorpio right now. So everybody is nosy, okay? Everybody trying to find shit out. Everybody on their Sherlock Holmes shit. All right. Spirits, what's going on with, okay? You letting them talk for me, all right? Mm. What's going on here? So we got the lover's card, but it came out in reverse. So somebody might not be focused on love right now. It could be a man, or you might not be focused on love with a man. It could be a Gemini or Aries. Like I said, the emperor is on the bottom of the deck. So which way can I hold this to make it unblurry? Okay. So you might not be worried about love right now. You might be just, you know, making sure your bills is paid. Um, You, you know, you just kind of trying to do your thing you're trying to do your thing right now um also i feel like a love connection might be on delay with it in reverse i'm seeing like you know it's not time yet that's what i'm hearing it's not time to be with this person man or woman um if it's a man he focused on business right now okay he has a lot of shit to take care of always on the phone man always on the phone 
okay um yeah you still think about this person though whether or not the card is in reverse the energy is still there it's just reversed okay you still think about this person okay with the lover's card you're still thinking about them just not focused on them and the connection is not um processing as i <laughs> or the relationship is processing the relationship is processing okay can't get access to it yet because it's still processing yeah you focus on money right now um you and whoever you are focused on mm, so you focus see you're not focused on the connection, but you're still thinking about the person, right? And that's because Ten of Pentacles, uh, both of y'all might have some family shit going on. Uh, one of y'all might just be focused on your career, okay? Um, I think both of y'all got family shit going on, definitely. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles, I think finances and family kind of tie in together in that car. So there's a Virgo here. Um, Virgo, Aries, and Gemini. Both of y'all, you know, you got family shit going on. You're trying to get your money right, you know. Y'all ain't really got the time and or space to be focused on one another. But you're thinking about one another. First card, okay? Spirits, what's going on with the Taurus Zodiac? October 2nd until October 16th. That's so far away from now, but it's really not. Mm-hmm. 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 So let's talk about it. So, I pulled the Ace of Swords. Could be an air sign up in here. Gemini. Or an Aquarius or a Libra. Gemini. With the Page of Swords on the bottom of the day, what do we see at the beginning of the reading? So, this person, okay, wants to talk to you. All right? They want to talk to you. You might be... Okay. Listen to me. Yo, this person... I was about... about <laughs> shit! You not going to do it. I was about to say your person this person so it's your man 100 grand or this your lady that's your girl okay that's your baby so here's the deal this person gonna slip up because this person been stalking you this is the person who has been watching you this is one of the people who's been watching you could be an air sign or a father emperor came out he's a father he has a child you wouldn't know it because of the way he comes off. He come off like, you know, if a bitch don't want me, I got three more. All right? He comes off like that. He wants you. You the one he want to be with. Lovers. Okay? He can't focus on you right now, though. But he been watching you. Watching you do your thing. Okay? Ace of Swords. He want to tell you something. He might, be tell he might be telling you something. Or you going to find out that this person been watching you. He going to slip up. I think he's slipping up. Either he's slipping up. You going to... You might be getting a message from this person. Page of Swords with the Ace of Swords. You might be getting a, just a straight up message from this person. Like, yo, what's up? How you been? <laughs> hey? Like, yeah, look at this shit. So, Knight of Cups. This person might come in a little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The word that's coming to mind is finicky. So, this person might hit you up. Like I said, yo, what's up? How you been? Oh, hey, long time. Ain't talked to you in a while. Oh, so you ain't talked to this person in a while? Okay. You ain't talked to this person in a while. You're like, hey, what's up? Oh, no. I'm just checking in on you. Just seeing how you doing. <sighs> what you want? Okay? Like, what what you want? You ain't been talking to me for a while. and you just... Scorpio energy. This might be a Scorpio. So, mm -hmm. so, here's the deal. Okay? This person has been thinking about you intimately. The lover's... Knights of Cups, and we have the Temperance on the bottom of the deck. But in this deck, you see how you got to do it like this. All right. Look at her. Look at what's going on here. WAP, Water Park, Tsunami, Drip Drip. There's a heavy Scorpio energy here. I say that because my lighter is a Scorpio lighter. Don't ask me why I got a Scorpio lighter. And I'm a Leo. So, <laughs> so. There's a Scorpio here, right? Who been thinking about you. He got blue balls, I just heard. I mean, the blue is in the car, but you also see like that red down there. Blue balls, okay? Might have been a tease to this person, or this person is just, you know, y'all just ain't had sex in a while. He's a little built up, a little pent up, okay? He's been thinking about you in an intimate way, okay? 
she has as well. This is vice versa. We're not going to do that, okay? The lovers, this is mutual. Y'all been thinking about one another intimately. I think y'all been picking up on this mentally as well. The Ace of Swords is here. Y'all been picking up on it, right? What's this? It's just flipped over. And I just say there's a Scorpio in here, Seven of Cups. It's a coincidence, right? So, it just, the card just, you know, it turned over when I tried to pick up the deck. So here we go. This person has been watching you from different outlets. Who's, whose video did I say this in? It sounds familiar. In the damn, the monthly for the Scorpio Zodiac. This person been going to your complex, going to your neighborhood, going to your job. Uh, going to places that they think that you frequent, you know, certain sides of town, south side, north side, west side, east side, right? Certain places that he think you're going to be at or she think you're going to be at. Trying to find you. Trying to just run into you accidentally. <sighs> They're tired of it. <laughs> They're tired of it. They're like, you know what? I could just say something. They saw it. They, 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 this came to the conclusion. You know what? I could just say something. My body getting them tingles. Incoming messages. Okay, here we go. This person is like, you know what? I could just say something. Communicate. Yeah, you could. All right. Spirits, what's going on? Okay. No? Yes? Yes? Mm hmm. Look at him. Look at him. The Emperor. Didn't we see him earlier? Okay. Here's the thing. What's going on here? Here's the thing. We had to see what was going on here. <laughs> so, y'all just plucked a lot of cards. Don't worry about it. We're going we gonna to follow each other. So, I came out with the Emperor in reverse. So, there's somebody here who feels like they have no control whenever it comes to you. They don't feel in control whenever it comes to you. I feel like whenever they're doing their daily shit, they be on their own doing the damn thing. They're Emperor. Okay? They're in their power upright. You know? Dealing with you. You got a different kind of energy. They can't be their way around you. Right? Queen of Wands. They feel like you got some sort of... <sighs> Listen, you might think you're a witch. Listen, this person might this this person might really think that you you know you delve into certain practices, or they might know. They might know that you do certain types of things. Okay, I'm a practitioner. Okay, Leo, Aries. There's a heavy Aries energy here. Heavy Scorpio energy here. Gemini. Let's keep it going. This person sees you as somebody who's able to just... Where's my wand? Can't find the other one. See, it's, they're, they're all around. So, this person sees you be able to... Abracadabra, abracadabra. They see you be able to just, you know, manifest whatever it is that you want. And they, they can't understand why it is that they have no control when it comes to you, but they feel like you have all the control whenever it comes to them. Queen of Wands with the Emperor card in reverse. They have no control. They feel like they have no control when it comes to you, but Queen of Wands is upright. So they feel like you have control over them. They feel like you have control over them. Ten of Swords was behind it as well. Yeah, they they feel like you. Whoa, oh, oh, wait, oh, another situation. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? So they could have um they could have ended a situation with somebody from their uh, past that they was dealing with. I'm assuming it's somebody from their past. It had to be because they ended shit with them ten of swords with the queen of wands. It could have been either a Leo or Aries. They could have um dead a situation with dealing with somebody else. Um, yeah, that could be a situation. And I also plucked the Ace of Pentacles. So we had two Aces so far. So with the Ten of Swords and we had the Death card behind it too. So this person went through some sort of transformative experience dealing with this Leo with this Aries that they are no longer dealing with. Okay. And now whenever it comes to you, I just kind of I just kind of feel like this person has went through a situation as to where they saw what life would be like without you. Okay. They could have dealt with somebody who kind of seemed like you. Like, 
let's say both of y'all might be water signs. Like you might be a Pisces and the person that they was dealing with was a, was a cancer, okay? Or, um, you know, you were Capricorn and they was dealing with a Taurus, right? They thought that this person was like you, okay? So they, you know, they tried to, you know, deal with them or whatever. That didn't, that didn't work out. Um, wow, some shit went on there. <sighs> The man had some death happen around him. I don't know if it was because of this Queen of Wands. It could have been because of this Queen of Wands. I think whoever they was messing with was doing... They asking me to say... Well, not asking me. They telling me to say it. They don't ask me to do nothing. Do it. <sighs> this Queen of Wands was doing black magic on him. It's a situation where he could have found this out. And that's why he think that you, my darling, are doing that... That's what I'm saying. Don't call me no witch. Practitioner. Okay? I do I do multiple things. Okay? <sighs> this person was dealing with somebody who was doing black magic on them. Um, oh, my God. <sighs> Hold on. Whoever this Queen of Wands was, Leo, Aries, or Gemini, person tried to kill them like through magic they tried to they tried to get them killed this person might have found this shit out this person might have found this shit out like this person might have found out this person tried to get them killed or was trying to do something to like cause them harm i mean my nigga look that dude is that that you know he look a little you know breathless okay i'm not trying to be funny but like you know we gotta make it light light but I think this emperor found that this queen of wands, you know, really fucking with him on that level, right? And he ended shit with her because he found out about that. And he was like, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. This bitch, this, this, is a, this is a chunky bitch. She a chunky bitch. Okay. I'm all out there. You, you're like, oh, God. <laughs> so, horrible bitch. So, he ended things with her. And I feel like he kind of, um, he might be getting this vibe with you. Why is he getting this vibe with you, though? It's weird. I don't get why he getting this vibe with you. I don't know, girl. He might be uh, he might be jaded, okay? Dealing with this situation, okay? Wow, this took, a, this took another turn, didn't it? Spirits, what's going on with the Taurus Zodiac? I'm trying to see the time. <laughs> Spirits, what's going on with the Taurus Zodiac? Oh, oh, Taurus Zodiac, October 2nd until October 16th. October 19th almost came out my mouth. So keep that, um, girl, keep the, uh, circle that. So the King of Wands just came out. So <sighs> Taurus, you need to talk to your father. You need to talk to your father or your grandfather. Um, I see a father and a grandfather here. I think you might need to be, okay, there's one person who you don't need to talk to. There's one person who you who you're gonna be talking to, and there's one person that you're not gonna be talking to. So either you're gonna be talking to your father and not your grandfather, or you're gonna be talking to your grandfather and not your father. Or any father figures around you. Okay? There's an older man and a older, older man. So there's a um older man. We don't wanna say elderly. <laughs> there's a there's an older man than you, and there's a mature man. Tell you how it is. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, you need to talk to your father about something or your grandfather. You need to talk to him about something. Um, whatever it is y'all been talking about. Seven of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. So, I feel like you might have a lot of suitors right now. The Knight of Cups came out behind that Seven of Cups. A lot of Scorpio energy up in here. Okay, you might have a lot of suitors right now. Um, a lot of people just trying to, you know, you know, get some of your time. Get the fuck out of my face, okay? They trying to get around you. But there's one person from your past with the Six of Cups. There's one person from your past, another Scorpio card. Who really wants you? Who wants to? I'm hearing revive things with you. They want to um, They want to see you. They want to see you. But right now, they got a lot of shit going on. Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. They got a lot of shit going on. Responsibilities, okay? You decide if you want to deal with that. I mean, they might be in a space that, you know, fuck with you and still have a lot, a lot on their plate. Just make sure that's the case. Spirits, what's going on with the Taurus Zodiac? Okay. All right. We need to, we need to, we need to see what the deal is here. 
So we got the Ace of Cups. But I also see the Seven of Swords here. So we can have three Aces pop out for you, Taurus, for the next two weeks. It's on the bottom of the deck. Mm-hmm. 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 Wow. This is a... Uh, what is this? So... Let's talk about it. Ace of Cups. Somebody who you haven't been talking to who's from your past. Six of Cups, remember I said at the beginning of the reading? It's a coincidence. It's somebody from your past who wants to give you an apology, who really wants to talk to you. They want to have a conversation with you. Like, I'm hearing they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart with you. No bullshit, no funny shit I'm hearing. Okay? So this person was about the funny shit. He was, he was, about, he was into clownery at one point. Universe Soul Circus. Tease. Ace of Cups, they want to give you a heartfelt message and they want to express their emotions to you. I'm thinking that the King of Cups is going to pop out. He probably ain't because we've already seen enough masculine energies and I already know there's a Scorpio up in here and a Cancer. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. So, this is a water sign though. Next, the Page of Swords was on the bottom of the deck. You see this person been following you throughout the whole reading, right? They want to be seen. They want to be seen now. This person is heavily camouflaged in this card. They want to be seen now. They tired of being in the shadows, lurking in the shadows like a nut. Four of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. That's that cancer I was talking about. He been drinking, thinking about you. And that pussy. Okay. He been thinking about it. Right? Been trying to figure out how he gonna come towards you. And he finally figured it out. Okay? So, right now we got two aces in y'all reading. Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. You know what this is? Truth and love. So what that tell you? True love. It's really your person. Okay? I said it at the beginning of the reading. With the lovers here, even though it's in reverse, it's really your person. Okay? They just, uh, the Emperor is in uh, reverse. They just, <sighs> they focus on some other shit right now. They ain't focused on, they not, they wouldn't be able to be all in the connection right now. I don't feel like you would either. Apparently, we ain't talking about you, Taurus, or whoever it is that's watching you. We're talking about your love life. Spirits, what's going on with the Taurus Zodiac? October 2nd until October 16th. Mm-hmm. 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 So, the Fool card. Didn't we mention traveling earlier? So, this person... They want to have a new beginning with you, and that might be what they're communicating to you with the Ace of Swords and the Fool card. Yo, let's have a clean slate. Slate? What the, what the hell is that? Let's have a clean slate between one another. Okay? I'm sorry for whatever I did. I don't know what this person did. Um, sorry. I'm sorry. You might be younger than this person. Oh, God. See, in the Scorpio reading, I didn't even fucking realize this. This, this motherfucking King of Wands. See, in the Scorpio reading, he wanted to, you know, show up all macho manish over here in Taurus reading, you know, be a little sentimental. Because he, you know, he want to let his guard down with the Emperor card. He don't want to be in control no more. He's like, you know what, fuck it. Somebody is, I'm here, surrendering to the connection. Okay? Ten of Pentacles. I told you, he got some family shit going on. Getting his finances together. Getting his money together. This is the real reason as to why they really ain't been fucking with you like that. He had to get this money shit together, right? Whoever that bitch was doing black magic on him, he really had to get that bitch out his energy before he came around you. He ain't want to bring that shit around you, okay? He shouldn't, okay? We could handle it, all right? You just got to say a couple words in my specific handle. But he don't want to bring that shit around you. I'm glad. I don't want that residue on my carpet. Ten of Pentacles, though. He been focused on some family shit. The judgment card. This person is cycling back to you. Six of Cups. With somebody from your past, they cycling back towards you. Because they miss you. They need you. They want you. Last cards. Here you go. All four aces have came out in your reading, baby. That's wild. Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Oh, wait, not all four. Sorry, only three. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and Ace of Swords. The Ace of Wands has, hasn't come out, and that's just, you know, him giving you that dick, okay? I mean, it's here, though. King of Wands and the Emperor, he want to give you that dick, of course. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And we got the Ace of Swords. Oh, yes. 
Yes, don't worry about that. He's going to give you the dick. I said, I want to say he wants to give you the dick, but no, I'm here. He's going to give you the dick. <laughs> He's offering. <laughs> Be careful. You might have a few men after you, um, interested in you, want to uh, court you. As the King of Pentacles, he on the bottom of the deck. Oh, this person might be coming to you like this. King of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. This, this person might be coming to you on his grown man shit. Like, listen, we ain't talked in a while. I ain't seen you in a while. <sighs> when are you free so we can set a date up? Oh, okay. This person, they've they been missing you. They've really been missing you. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah. They, they, I'm, you know, I'm just seeing the, the cards, and I'm just like, damn, yeah, they've been missing you. They just recently, they could have just recently moved. Um, yeah, they could have just recently signed a lease, recently moved, recently just got a new car, um, just recently signed some sort of paperwork for something. They was trying to get some legality shit out the way. They wanted to be, they didn't want to, um, bring too much baggage towards you. I'm here. They, they want to bring too much baggage towards you, and they just, they wanted to be in a certain space. Like, you know what? Whenever I ask her out on this date, I ain't got to worry about this, that, and the third. You know, I'm, I'm set. You know, I'm just waiting for the day that I get to see her. Three aces. Three aces. All right, Taurus. Popping off for the first uh, half of fucking October. Damn. All right, Taurus. Sun, moon, rising. Venus, Mars. Mercury. Jupiter, or Saturn placements okay please like the video leave a comment telling me it just resonated with you in any way i hope so this is great love and money oh let's talk about the money real fast okay over this could be just a payday for you over the next two weeks you know you having a payday um but i'm seeing that with the ace of pentacles and the ten of pentacles popping out somebody is starting something long term like somebody is starting something. They could be starting a business. This King of Pentacles could be starting a business, or you could you just carrying this King of Pentacles energy. Okay, you starting some sort of business that's going to it's going to be long term financial stability. That's all you get. They said the rest is a surprise, but just know whatever it is you working on right now, this new business that you signed, you got to sign paperwork for it to go ahead and get some legal shit taken care of. <sighs> The clientele about to get like bigger, so you gotta operate differently. Okay? Itineraries and shit. Alright, y'all. This was your bi-weekly tarot reading. Follow me on Instagram. DM me on there if you like a personal tarot reading. Check out my description box in the comment section for my homegirl's Instagram for her hair care and skin products. Alright, y'all. Check y'all later. Bye.